Hey, my cocoa beans, and we are back in the experience today. So for today's Vlogmas video, we are going to be making a sorrel sangria. Check out the room in the background. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I've told everybody on Instagram to vote to see whether they wanted to see a sour mimosa or sour sangria. Uh, sour mimosa is pretty easy, so I decided to do them both. So, we're gonna be doing it for them. One thing you know, from December start. Every day is Christmas. So to do this video, you know, it's sour. And so I had to get the sour from the market, oranges, fruits. And then I got some pineapples and stuff from Epicurean. Ah, for me, a uh, good sangria has in all the foods. Whatever foods you want to put in it, as long as they're not overpowering or too sour, it's good. Because honestly, that's the essence of a sangria. The fruits you can eat afterwards. Oh, crrr. Usually, I let my sangria soak for a day or two before I distribute it to people. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to just do it all now, test it all now. And then we're going to let it soak. And then I'm going to give it to some people. Okay, so this is the sour and the oranges I got. Well, the orange mm -hmm, that I got from the market. And then I got the pineapples from Happy Curian, you know. And yeah. So for the sour, you got to soak it overnight, things like that. But my mom who is like a total naturalist, was just like, you can blend it up, pour a little hot water over it. You got to get everything out of the sorrel. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to blend it up in the Nutribullet and then we're going to get this popping. I hope I have enough to make the two, but we're going to rock it out. Okay, first step. And put a little bit of water in it so we can like make sure it blends up good you know Ooh, we got the goodness we got the goodness now this definitely needs to strain so we're gonna do that next I think I poured too much in that. A few moments later. Okay, that process is finally over. Now, to cut up the fruits that are needed. that's that all right so we have the fruits cut up and we got the sour strained already we got the sour strained already fruits cut up all right let's go next process so you know this is my favorite part time to add the rum this is a prosecco um i like to try new things and i saw this in epicurean and i was like let me buy it and it was like 28 dollars so let's see how this cheap prosecco tastes. I'm guaranteed it tastes all right because it's not that serious. For the sour mimosa, it's just a simple sour and the champagne mixed. For the sangria now, we add the prosecco. Okay, let's go with the vodka today. <laughs> 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 if you know me, you know. I drink vodka on the rocks, so. Eh, love it. And I'm going to be adding. Oh, I wonder if I should add English Harbor to it. Uh, we're going to bring the two in front. So. To give the. Sangria a bit more flavor. I like to add cinnamon, 
grenadine or and or vanilla essence it depends on how i'm feeling you know but it always gives it a nice flavor especially when it all the fruits come together so yeah okay so these are all the ingredients i'm going to be adding in for the sangria vanilla essence english harbor i'm not sure between the english harbor and the absolute is yet but we're adding the prosecco and the grenadine okay and some cinnamon as well okay so now we're going to be doing the sorrel mimosa fast first things you gotta do press the bottom Roll off the touch after this and you gotta pop bottles after this you know what i'm saying so you can pretty much use any champagne you feel like it any champagne you feel like it to do this is good sometimes i throw in wines i throw in champagne with anything you choose to throw in with it it's fine once it's not like a wine that you really like, like it gives you that flavor that you like, and you mix it with the stuff, okay? So. Ooh, ain't no better sound. Okay. <laughs> so. For me, I'm an alcohol. For me, I'm an alcoholic, okay? So, if you know you can't manage drinking, do not follow me. We're going to add one pot. Sorry, you see how that's thick and nice? One pot, sorry. Okay, maybe two pots. And then we add the per. Ooh. I knew it should have been one pot, sorry. Anyways, we're going to just add more. Ooh. <laughs> it's nice. I really could have taken some sweetening in it because I like sweet rum sometimes, depends, but yeah. I eat this friend. Drink two of this, yeah? I eat this friend. For the, for the sour sangria now. So we're going to be adding the grenadine. A little chunks of vanilla essence and we're gonna be adding all the foods that we cut up we're gonna start around a little bit I don't know is this shit as thick as hell taste it Sugar. That's why I like sugar. All right. All right. Let's stir now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Try my prosecco first. Then I'm gonna toss in the English harbor. Oh, 
Afi drink this here. Afi drop. Afi, Afi drop. Let's stir that up. So now we're gonna set this in the fridge to cool, and then we're gonna come back and try it again when it's oh so cold. So people, I is very low. I'm taking another taste of the sorrel bumbusa. It's in my cup. Mm -hmm. My friend Shen gave it to me. Now, always remember for your sangria, when you finish pouring your mixture into a glass, you always top it off with some more Prosecco. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stir it around. And then serve it. And then serve it to your, your party mates, you know. It's cute. It's nice. This, mm, this time. Make sure you serve it with a little spoon so your, your guests can enjoy your food. No. But. No, I like that. I enjoy Pineapples, okay. Let me know if you like my recipe. If you enjoyed this video, and let me know how drunk you get your guests this holiday season. We will see you guys in the next one. We live. We gotta sleep. <laughs>